What's going on everyone, Golden Ticket to History, coming to you in a little bit of a live video. The last couple of videos have been more of a first person perspective, you know, seeing what I'm seeing or voiceover type videos. So we're gonna change things up a little bit. You know, yesterday was October 18th, and it was a Tuesday. McDonald's unveiled the Halloween Happy Meal buckets, to which I picked up one of them. I did a small little short video on sharing with all of you. I got McBoo, the ghost Happy Meal bucket. And I really want to see if I get any other two. You know, at first I thought it was maybe some regional things, because most people I saw here in Central Florida had the same bucket that I received, the ghost one. I saw a few other people receive one of the other buckets. So I'm wondering if it actually isn't regional or if it's not just day by day by day, if there's a different structure to it in relations to how the, the buckets are being carried out. So I'm actually on my way right now to go see about picking up another one of the Happy Meals. And we're gonna see about going to the McDonald's, pulling in and ordering one of the Happy Meals and seeing if we can get our hands on one of the other styles, one of the other buckets. Come along with me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do so. You don't miss out on any of the other content we're covering. We have famous graves, we have haunted locations, we have historic locations, we have true crime locations, we have theme parks, we have sports, we have day-to-day -day things. We have so much going on, on the channel. Don't miss out on any of it. Come on, come along with me. Let's get this next Halloween bucket. Right over there is the McDonald's. We're gonna check out to see if they have the Halloween Happy Meal bucket in stock. It's right over there. Let's see if they have it. Okay, so yeah, so I have uh, taken and I've procured the Happy Meal. Unfortunately, it's the same pail that I received yesterday on the opening day. I was kind of hoping that I saw some other, some other uh, creators as well as some other people posted on Instagram, on YouTube, that they were able to find some of the other pails in the Central Florida area. I saw the Frankenstein. I'm still holding out for the pumpkin. I really want to get the pumpkin. So I was stopping at a different location, about 30 minutes away from where the one I stopped yesterday, hoping that maybe the different region would give me a different pail. But, you know, still, you know, since, uh, since I've had a little bit of time here to look at this, we can dive a little bit more into the details of it. So I know that uh, I'm a little bit bigger than I was when they first came out. I think when they first came out, I was maybe, you know, it's probably the 90s mid 90s early 90s so it's been about 25 a little over 25 years since the last time they've really been out i've grown a lot since then and i'm not the young child that i was the last time we had them but they definitely seem a lot smaller than they did before so we have the pail this one is mcboo as you can see you know it has different ghost faces on it this one's scared this one's laughing this one's a little eh, scared so we have three different faces when you look at the top of it we have a little supposed to be kind of like the the lid that we used to have on the original ones back in the 90s unfortunately this one it really isn't a lid it's just a a strip of plastic which is unfortunate there is a makeshift lid you can kind of see right there which is an activity sheet you take the sheet out and you remove the stickers and you can place them on the other side to make a little ghost figure as well as a pirate inside of it's the normal uh fare you know you have what are the item either a cheeseburger a hamburger chicken nuggets and the either double fries or apple slices you know it depends on what option you want and you have a choice of a drink milk juice or a fountain beverage i decided to pick a half sweet half unsweet tea so um this is now i have two of these ghost mcboo uh, pails i am not gonna stop yet you know i'm still gonna be looking out to try to get the pumpkin I really want to get the Frankenstein one. I need to reach out to some of the people that I've seen in the Central Florida area who have been able to pick up the Frankenstein one here in Central Florida to figure out where it's at. But in the meantime, you know, at least we got one. You know, it's one of the things with the adult Happy Meals, people had some issues finding and 
I kind of just assumed it wasn't going to be around, so I didn't really attempt to try to get my hands on the adult Happy Meal. It was only a few days while supplies last. I assumed maybe something similar to this one. There was a lot of questions of was this going to be a rolling rollout where they only rolled out the Ghost first and then go to the Frankenstein and eventually go to the Pumpkin Pale variety. As closer we get to Halloween, you know, I'm thinking maybe that could still potentially be the plan. Maybe the, the location that some of the people have gotten the Frankenstein one, maybe have already exhausted their supplies of the McBoo ghost pails so there's a there's a, you know, there's a chance that maybe some of the ones around here might have the, the frankenstein sooner than later maybe they're just trying to exhaust their supply of mcboo but the quest is still on to get my hands on the frankenstein and eventually the pumpkin the pumpkin is definitely one i wanted to get during this holiday season you know to complete the collection but yeah so it's a quick review of it you know definitely it's a little bit smaller it's unfortunate it doesn't have the lid like it did in the 90s but it's still cool, you know, have this little, you know, remnants back to, you know, back to yesteryear, back to the 90s when we had these, uh, these pails. You know, it'd be nice if we could see the costume chicken nuggets would be really cool if those came back. You know, I'd really like to see that again. I definitely would go search out those as well to get all the different costumed McDonald's McNugget costumes. So, yeah. little thumbnail um you know this video the last couple of videos i did you know it's just been more of a vo voiceover or you've seen me looking at things it wasn't really much of me so i kind of wanted to do a quick video where i gave you my face you know i'm still here you know i'm still kicking it you know we still have so much going on we have some filming locations i'm trying to put together we have a lot of true crime locations i'm trying to put together i have some specials in store for the halloween season definitely look out for those in relation to haunted locations there's a few things I had in store that uh, because of some other logistics and some some, uh, some other obligations, I've had to pass on a few things, which is unfortunate. But uh, there's definitely still a lot on the horizon that I want to accomplish. I want to take you all along with me. We have some sports, some more stuff with the Gator games. We have some haunted locations still on the horizon. We have some historical locations, some famous graves so much more if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do so you know share the videos you know get the videos out there you know even if you don't have the opportunity to watch the videos out the gate um you know, just click on the link by clicking on the link it takes and it adds that video to the algorithm which increases the chances of more people viewing it which makes it so that it gets into the youtube algorithm so uh, the the exposure becomes higher you know when we get the videos out there so more people can see them the channel can grow you know we're about 130 subscribers away from hitting a thousand subscriber mark which is something i never thought would even potentially happen and i think we're less than two years into the channel and it's almost here which is amazing to me you know when we broke a hundred thousand uh, views last month that was amazing we know we're on the quest for a million and i couldn't do it without you guys so thanks for the support you know it's amazing having you guys supporting me and i look forward to some of the new videos on the horizon catch you guys in the next video have a great day everyone continue to look for the history and film see you guys later